Alright guys, today we're looking at a new rogue called Internet Security Essentials. And as you can tell by me using a real computer, it did not want to run well in a uh, virtual machine. So, we're just going to have to record with a camera instead of uh, Camtasia. Anyway, uh, as you can tell, it's pretty much the same as um, a lot of the other rogues that are like it. That sounds kind of stupid. It's usually called like the Fake Vimes Family or the Vi or Virus Alert Family, but you know, they all pretty much act the same. So you've got the scanner here, you know, it found all the files and stuff, you try to click remove all, and then it'll bring up this activation page. 100% secure site, you know, net security essentials, professional assistance, six month, one year, lifetime, all of that. For like 90 bucks. You got your firewall, your updates and antivirus protection. On the other parts you've got anti-phishing, some processes, an auto run manager, which you can actually see where this rogue is loading from. Something called limnol.exe maybe. Well it's just the name of the uh, process or whatever. You've got some services, you've got like magnifier and stuff, you've got a quarantine, and you've got the malware eliminator thing, where you can go out and find malicious processes and all of that. And then, of course, the scanner. But we've already seen that. And like the other ones, the other rogues that are like this, uh, it's got a nice little live support option. Let's see if we can get something done. I guess I'll type my name. And let's see if we can chat. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've got like a cold or something. I sound like crap. So. Hopefully I don't sound too bad. And I have a problem. I torrented a key, but it doesn't work. Let's see what they have to say about that. Off of a hacker site called the Pirate Bay. Uh, hello Irene, I recently downloaded a keygen for Internet Security Essentials off of a hacker site called the Pirate Bay, and it didn't work. Let's see if they have like a real response. Please describe the situation in more detail. What? That's pretty detailed. I guess I'll retype it. A known hacker site called the Pirate Bay. You download a free key. And it did not work. Please send me a new one. This says please me a new one. I forgot to put send. It's pretty retarded. Maybe I should add on to that. There we go. Free evaluation version. But I don't want that. I want a real key. Could you send me a product key?
I'm gonna go ahead and click this link just to see what it is. Alright then, we've got a key now. Or not a key, but an evaluation version of this crap. Now, uh, now she's being all mean, and you just need to save the version and run it. No! I want a key, bitch. Do you understand me? Yeah, I don't think she's going to be responding. So I'll go ahead and close this. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and look at some of the effects that Internet Security Essentials will have. Um, it'll block a lot of programs, including a uh, task manager and a lot of antivirus programs. I've noticed that it will block, uh, like, a vast... I believe it blocks uh, Nod32 and McAfee as well. And it does this sort of in a, uh, in a layman way. It edits the uh, image file execution options uh, key and in the registry and what it'll basically do is reroute let's say paint paint.exe it'll reroute it to like notepad or something but it said it'll reroute it to uh, svc host so basically it'll create a new svc host process which will do basically nothing and that happens on a lot of programs like task manager so what you'd have to do would be to open up the registry editor and fix all those keys yourself. And you'll also notice, if we open up uh, Internet Explorer, that... Well, they found a warning, okay. So we'll go ahead and close it. And I want to continue unprotected. Anyway, let's get this out of our way. Come on. Alright, so you'll notice that it uses a uh, local proxy server just like um, a lot of other rogues. But instead of like just rerouting it to a single block page, it'll like slow down your stuff, it'll jack up your searches. It's kind of weird. Let's have a look. So if we try to go to Google, see what happens. And uh, let's look for malware bytes. See what happens. And it'll want to download something for some reason. Okay. So, I don't know what's up with this. It wants me to save a file for some reason. And you can turn that off, but, I mean, most people aren't going to really notice that. So, how the hell do you remove this? This is probably why you're watching this video right now. And I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the uh, easiest method possible. And since I really uh, don't have another way to uh, run this and have multiple methods of removal, we're just going to do the easiest one, which is enter a key. So, what you're going to want to do is bring this back up, click on the big ol' activate button, and then wait. We'll see this activa activation page. Go down to click here if you already have an activation code, and now type this in, and it's in the description, so look at the description, please. Don't say that I didn't put it there. Alright. Let's see here. U2FD S2LA H4KA UEPB And then click Activate Product Key. Then it'll say, thank you, Internet Security Essentials has been activated. Click OK. Close that. And now, you know, you're basically uh, done. 
it's not going to really do anything and get all mad at you or anything. So you can go ahead and close the program. Go ahead and open up Task Manager. Find its process. It's like IS something or other. Looks like that. Whoa. Forgot to zoom out there. Looks something like that. On the top. Okay. So you kill the process. Go back. And if you want to be sure that it's gone, I highly recommend doing this. Go ahead and download uh, Malwarebytes Anti-Malware and run a full scan. So we'll go ahead and do that. God, IE6 is so slow. Go ahead and save the uh, setup file to your desktop. Run it. Select your language. Next. Accept the agreement. Next, 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 next. Update and launch. So now it's uh, downloading updates and all of that. Alright, so you're probably not going to need to run a uh, full scan, but you know you might feel more comfortable doing that. It's going to take its variable time. Uh, sometimes it takes like half an hour, but on other people's computers it can take like up to four or five. But you probably only need to run a quick scan doing this. So go ahead and stay on quick scan and click scan. This takes something like maybe like five minutes or so. It's really not that long compared to a full scan. So just leave this up, like take a break or something. Alright, so my scan just finished and it took a little bit over six minutes. And it's got some, looks like some bloated results. So you click OK, go ahead and go to show results. It'll show all of the uh, registry keys that it made. There's a lot of them. And it also wants to redirect you to Find Gala. That's not good. That is definitely not good. Try to redirect your, uh, I guess your Google searches or something. Naive. Hmm. That's something you do not want. And what's interesting is that it'll actually knock out some uh, malicious processes like, uh, let's see, Personal Guard, Personal Guard.exe. You know, that's nice. But unfortunately, it'll also knock out a lot of these vast ones. So, we gotta get rid of them. Get, it uh, gets rid of all the shortcuts and all of that. And I'm going way too long with this. Just click Remove Selected. And this is gonna take a little while. So, you gotta wait again. Alright, so after it's done completely, it'll make this nice little log for you. You can go ahead and dismiss it. Close it. And it'll ask you to restart and go ahead and do that. Click yes. Alright, so after you reboot it, uh, everything should be gone. And that is pretty much it for removing Internet Security Essentials. If this video has helped you, I really do appreciate donations. There's a link in the description for that. And that's it.